What's up guys? D1 here. So I am making this video to follow up the reel that I posted on each platform where I gave a little intro on me. And this is also a follow up to the YouTube video I made about a year ago around this time actually. I'm explaining a little bit about myself. So that way all of you that are following me on whatever platform you follow me on can feel a little closer to me and maybe empathize, connect, um, feel like you actually know me because some of you I may not know or we only see each other from time to time. <clears throat> um, another reason I'm doing this is so uh, people that are dreamers like me can be inspired to actually put themselves out there without fear. Um, also, to be a voice for those who um, struggle in the day to day or have had hard times. Um, also, if you're going through a hard time, I wanna um, kinda be that hand that reaches out to help you you know, you can shoot me a DM whenever. Um, I want to be the person that shows you that no matter how many times you get knocked down in life, you can get back up and bounce back even better than you were before. And that anything is possible. Now, some of you who know me may be like, Oh, he's, he's not doing nothing spectacular. He's not this, not he's not that. I know him. I'm transparent. In conversations, on social media, I, I'm me. I, I don't, I know we all have masks. I have masks too, but I really don't hide much. But anyways, um, where do I start? I made a whole whiteboard um, layout for this video but um, I'm not the best at speaking on camera yet um, so I want to practice just by giving it to y'all like this just laid back and just speaking to y'all as if you were one of the homies and we were connecting or if I was in therapy or something you know just chopping it up and giving it to y'all raw pretty much so where do I start? Um, yeah, so D1 Lifetime, the reasoning behind that name is that um, I know a lot of people around me, you know, in my community and in the sports world, um, idolize D1 athletes and rightfully so. But um, I noticed that, um, you know, it's statistically, it's nearly Im impossible to make it that far. And um, to, to elevate even further beyond that is even more difficult to do. Um, being a D1 athlete was a a goal of mine from like the age of seven. Um, didn't happen, but the reason for the name D1 Lifetime is that um, even some D1 athletes don't, you know, they, they get an injury or they, they fail out or they, like I failed off my basketball team but um, they uh, they don't get along with the coach, whatever it may be. But like, the, not everyone builds upon that. But it was a blessing to make it that far. But the reason I came up with the name D One Lifetime is that I want myself and anyone who follows me to live their lives like they were a D One athlete. You know, big man on campus. Um high self-esteem, um, 
confidence, living the dream, you know? I'm I'm all about dreaming and manifesting those dreams. So instead of just D1 for like during your college days, it's D1 your whole life. Like every day is lit. Every day you're that guy or that girl. So yeah. Um, uh, those of you that know me personally know my name is Lorenzo Munez. Um, Lorenzo Elias Munez. Um, I'm named after my uncle who passed away. His name is, rest in peace, his name is Lawrence Munez. Um, Lorenzo in Spanish. Lorenzo, Lawrence. Lorenzo means Lawrence in Spanish. Yeah, there we go. Um, what else? Um, some of you know I had the name Bully Chamberlain for a while, and I also had the name Just Zoe for a while. So Bully Chamberlain was kind of like, it was a spur of the moment thing, I guess. I was still operating in the unconscious during that time. I mean, we all operate in our subconscious from time to time even as adults but i really just made a freestyle called it bully chamberlain because it was a remix of the song sosa chamberlain by chief keef and um people called me bully zo in high school because the way i played ball was very unphysical but um bully chamberlain was it was cool it got me a lot of attention. I, I loved it, not gonna lie, but that name kind of followed me everywhere I went. Um, I had to kind of live up to it. And um, I didn't like the person it brought out of me. And I felt like I was faking it. Like I was making like these, these trap and drill songs when that's not who I am. And, you know, people, if if I made it further with that, people would have been able to see right through it. Because even when the song first went viral, um, a lot of people from other states and cities were like, who is this guy? He don't know what he's talking about. Stuff like that. So um, I didn't want to fake it for that long. I didn't want to fake it at all. It was bothering me. And, but, like, the hype got to my head, and I enjoyed the... the um, 15 minutes of fame, I guess. But, um, yeah. Um, also, I don't support bullies. I, I don't support bullying. Um, now, if you have, like, a, an aggression or an assertiveness to you, that's fine. That's who you are. That's cool. But, like, you know, I don't... I just... Because I know what it's like to be bullied... Um, and I know it's like to bully because I was, I was a bully at one point in my life, but I digress. Um, so, um, about my journey, uh, I went to a private school from K through eight. Um, I did around like four, I think five or something like that. I did horseback riding. Um, I played basketball, soccer, and flag football around four and five as well until like seven. Uh, I sang in the choir at, at my church and at my school. Um, seven I started playing baseball in the local little league um I felt I I loved baseball like since like probably like two or three I had a like a bat and a ball in my hand you know that was my first love and I remember playing um MLB 2k making a player create a player and stuff like that um and the 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 um like slogan or whatever for MLB 2K was I live for this. So I started telling everybody I live for this. I'm going to be in the MLB, stuff like that. 
Um, that's where I got like one of my first dreams. Um, I started, I think, and I think about this often. I think the dream, the dreamer in me came from like being so young and seeing my cousins and even like my aunts and uncles and my parents, and my grandparents, like just seeing everything around me. Like I'm very observant, seeing like what my cousins were capable of. Like they were like my superheroes, you know? Like they were good at sports, they were good in school. Like it was just, I looked up to them, I still do. Um, my parents always made it happen for me and my brothers. Um, and then um, I have one cousin that plays um, professional basketball currently. She also played Division One, and she did well in high school too. She's She's like a local legend here. Um, she like added fuel to the fire of the dreamer in me when I, I went to try out, no, what was it? I don't remember the order, but I had a friend at my school that played basketball and he wanted me to try out for the JV team with him in fourth grade. And I think it might've been the year before that my cousin told me that um, I need to start playing a real sport. So she said, let's play basketball. So she started teaching me. I remember we used um, wiffle ball bats as like cones and, and did layup drills and dribbling drills. And then freaking the trials came up that fall and um, I got, I didn't make the team. Like I remember like being so excited to check the team list in the hallway at school the next day. And then when, when I saw that I wasn't on it, like my heart dropped and um, I was like embarrassed and I just felt like I like I was a failure. But I didn't like that feeling. I was like, nah, this doesn't end here. And then my friend was bragging the whole year that he was on the team. People were making fun of me that I didn't make it because I swore I was gonna and I was I wasn't good. Like I had that little bit of experience from the Y when I was like four to six or whatever. But like, I even, honestly, I forgot that I ever played basketball even when I was that young. Like, I, I, I feel like I didn't really start till I was like nine. Cause that's when like I had the cognitive ability to, rem to remember things a little better and to focus. And that's when it meant something to me starting at nine. Um, I played instructional at the, at the school learn the fundamentals and I continued baseball but um also at nine I picked up the saxophone and piano um yeah so I played in the school band um and then that summer that following summer I played in a, a, a local band, a, a summer workshop, they called it, summer music workshop, where I played with kids from other cities. 